Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jada Marie and I'm back with another video. Today y'all, I'm bringing y'all a cute little review for a new foundation that She Glam has released. Today's video is sponsored by She Glam, so thank you guys so much for sending me some goodies to share with my audience. I really appreciate it. She Glam sent me their new high coverage powder foundation. It comes in this really cute packaging y'all. It looks just like this. They sent me three different shades, so Today I'm going to have to test it out and see which shade is mine. Um, I feel like I have an idea already because this one looks really dark. But, you know, it's summertime so they might end up working towards the end of summer. But we're going to test these out. I'm going to do some swatches so you guys can see and help me pick which shade is my correct shade. Okay y'all, so... So She Glam sent me three different shades like I told y'all before. Um, one shade they sent me is Wheat. I'm going to test all these out. So it's Wheat, Honey, and Butterscotch. So let's go ahead and start with Butterscotch. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to test them on the back of my hand. I'm just going to use my fingers to rub across the foundation. I never used a powder foundation before so I'm really excited to try this. I don't know if I said that but... I really am because this is different oh it's really smooth like when I touch it it feels really buttery and soft so let's go ahead and put it on my hand so you guys can see okay that one's really light hmm okay now we're gonna try out wheat and I'm gonna use a different finger so that the colors won't clash I'll take my middle finger and rub it across this one's a little darker. Let's put it on there and see. Okay, this one definitely has like an orange undertone. Y'all see it? And the last shade is Honey. Let's see how this one looks. Rub my finger across. This one's definitely probably like the middle one of the two. Actually, I think the first one is the middle one. Okay, this is how Honey looks. So which one do y'all think I'm leaning more towards? I'm thinking this middle one, which is wheat. Only because like it has like that orange undertone and I feel like the other two are probably gonna make me have like a white look. And y'all can see my skin is not very like, like, like it doesn't have this orange undertone, but I feel like I wanna do this one because I don't want to do this because this would cause like these two would cause like flashback if I was to take a video with the flash you know like it would probably make me look white I feel like this one I feel like probably this one wouldn't it does look whiter but in person it looks like it has like a little like orange to it okay so I do think I'm gonna go ahead and go with the wheat shade I think that one is gonna be the one for me I'm not even gonna lie so this is the packaging super cute whenever you open it up it has a sponge and this is like really convenient so you don't even have to like bring a brush with you if you want to use this foundation it has the sponge right underneath sponges like these are like really good for like high coverage and for base makeup it makes it apply really smoothly so I feel like that's a plus with this foundation because sometimes brushes don't always do the like what they need to do and sponges like this is really gonna get the job done and it feels really soft so I'm really excited to try this out like it's very fluffy so we're gonna go ahead and try it out another way this is really convenient is because like this is good for a quick makeup look this is like you can just put this in your bag you can take it with you you don't have to like try to bring a brush foundation and all that extra stuff because this is going to give you the full coverage you need and it's just powder so we're going to go ahead and try it out i'm really excited y'all i don't even want to mess up the brush like i mean the sponge like it's just so like perfect but we're going to go ahead and try it um, we're going to see if this foundation can cover up my dark spots because as I can see, I have a couple of them. They're not too bad, but with foundation, you do want it to cover up your dark spots. Like that's the point of putting makeup on, like to cover up like your imperfections and add to your beauty, your beauty. So we're going to try this out and we're going to see how it does with my dark spots. So I'm just going to take the sponge and drag it across and I got some on there. And I'm going to do like a swipe on my face so you guys can see the difference. So we're going to do it on this side first. I'm going to do it 
do like a few swipes. Okay. This side has the makeup and this side does not. Do y'all see a difference? I think I see a difference. Um, I do not see my dark spots that are on this side. I just know they're there. So like, I mean, I could probably like pinpoint them. They're all over my cheeks. But for the most part, the dark spots are covered compared to this side. You can still see all of my little dark spots. And it's definitely giving me like that matte finish. It gives me like a smooth look on this side versus this side. It's like still like glossy, I feel like. And this side just looks really matte, like, and a few swipes can really achieve, like, the look of liquid foundation. So I feel like this product would last way longer than, like, other foundations because a few swipes takes you a long way. Definitely giving me that matte look, and I really like it. And I feel like it's really lightweight compared to liquid foundations because I hate makeup that makes me feel like I have makeup on. Like, I love to feel, like, natural, and y'all know I'm all for, like, a quick little light glam. Like, I never really enjoy like heavy makeup unless like I'm doing a photo shoot or something so I feel like this is perfect if you're just like a natural girly and you just want to like throw on a little something when you're leaving the house and you just want to get that like natural effect it's really lightweight I'm gonna go ahead and put some more on this side of my face and then we're gonna see the difference y'all see all these dark spots right now but this side it's looking good so let's do this side so they can match Okay, um, I have the foundation all over my face. It's very light. Um, I literally could, like, step out the house just like this with lip gloss and this foundation. I'm telling y'all, this is the new thing. Like, you can take this in your purse. It's very convenient, very lightweight, as y'all can see. And it's supposed to, like, have, like, oil control. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it on my face for a little bit. And I'm going to test that out because I have really oily skin. So, I really want to see if, like oil will start forming on my nose and if it does hey if it doesn't that just lets us know like it's really oil control foundation and that's really cool because I hate when I have like oil like in pictures you'll see like I'll start looking greasy so that's a plus and we're gonna test that out I'm gonna come back in a little bit it's also supposed to be waterproof so when I come back for the oil control in a few hours I'm gonna also test out the waterproof method and I'm gonna put a little water on my face and see if the foundation is still intact so I will see y'all in a little bit y'all hang tight I'm gonna come back for the two tests Okay, y'all, I'm back. It's been a couple hours. As y'all can see, the lighting probably has changed. It's dark outside now, but um, I still have the foundation on my face. I haven't changed anything. I just ate and sat down for a couple of hours because I was trying to wait it out. But I'm going to go ahead and rub my nose because that's where, like, my oil comes from. Um, I'm not going to lie, I do feel a little oil, but it's not as much as I usually would with, like, other foundations. Um, I really don't feel like, it doesn't feel as oily. Usually, like, I have a lot of oil on my nose, but it doesn't feel that bad. So, I would say, like, this is, like, an oil prevention foundation because my face isn't greasy. This area isn't greasy like it usually is, and I think it looks really natural still. It barely looks like I have foundation on, but I do. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is put some water on my cheek and see if... It like messes up the foundation. Um, the foundation is supposed to be waterproof, so yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna do it on this side. I'm like dabbing water on my face. Okay, there's nothing on this tissue. Like <laughs> this tissue is literally blank. Um, as you can see, the water was right there. I dabbed it all over my cheek. And I still have the foundation on. So, I think that proves that this foundation is waterproof. Okay, y'all. So, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much again to She Glam for sponsoring today's video. Make sure y'all check out their full coverage foundation. It's very good. Waterproof, matte finish. And it gives you that natural look. This foundation will be linked in the description box down below. So, make sure y'all check it out. And I love y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. And there should be a code down below. And... Yeah, thank y'all for watching and I will see y'all in my next video. Peace. I just want to see you girl doing on hands. We can make it lit, lit, lit like a candle. Off white shirt with the off white sandals. I can beat it up, can you handle?